हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू योर जर्नी टू लर्निंग पाइथन प्रोग्रामिंग सो टुडेज टॉपिक इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट्स क्लास एंड ऑब्जेक्ट सो वॉट हैपन बेसिकली क्लास एंड ऑब्जेक्ट पाइथन इज अब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज एंड ऑलमोस्ट एवरीथिंग इन पाइथन इज एन ऑब्जेक्ट ओके विच हैज अ प्रॉपर्टी एंड मैथड्स अ क्लास इज लाइक एन ऑब्जेक्ट कंस्ट्रक्टर और अ ब्लू प्रिंट फॉर क्रिएटिंग ऑब्जेक्ट ओके सो लेट लर्न विद द एग्जाम्पल्स basically syntax is for create class name and the pass okay pass we know already okay it just for say like that nothing i want to do here so i just say pass okay now let's create one small very small class here is a class class name one variable is a property okay one variable and value is 10 so i'm creating a object and i'm assigning my class okay so this is as is basically my this class object so std stand for student is a short form okay to so this to std class object is s and i am using this my property this my variable so object name dot variable name so it's print then okay let's change it to 100 okay so using this object i am using this property okay i am using this variable okay let's introduce a function so function inside the that will say method inside the class so i am passing here self what meaning of self self term by parameter is to refer to the current instance okay it's refer to the current instance so it is necessary to pass here but it is not necessary its name must be the self okay you can give any name so basically i have a simple function method i'm printing here inside the class just for the meaning we can figure out it's calling the class function creating object object name dot method okay and output is in the class okay so you can use your as or self or any other name but good practice is for self now one more example here okay one more example now what is init okay init is basically the constructor okay so whenever you are okay when you create a object for particular class or create object this function execute automatically okay it execute when you create a object for the class okay now and it's basically for to assign the value to your properties okay so i am here to variable name and age okay i'm passing the value when i'm creating the object and i assign to my that to variable okay so when my e1 object created i pass this to so okay so there is no need to call, call this in it okay it's automatically executed and when we print e1 dot name e1 dot h my first output is joy and 45 the next time i'm create second object i'm calling with two different parameters and i'm printing here it's change and it's print puja enjoy one more example a new instance with the new value okay and let's print it okay i'm just calling the object i'm just creating the class object and it's automatically assign the value for my name and age variable okay no one more example here is a fun method and i have it in it also okay so basically what i'm doing i'm just uh, assign the value to my name and age okay as like a above and here i'm using my name property is it possible yes so what happened basically when i'm creating object first assign this okay execute this in it okay and assign the n and a to my joy and 45 to this one in very next line i am calling my function so function call by itself okay self property this is self we can see that yes so we can use like that self dot name very simple okay self dot name so it's print hello my name is joy okay Let's execute one more example on one more objects the different value and let's see what happen 
okay now new object okay new object calling function assigned it to puja priya and pitti when i'm calling with e2 object it's printing hello my name is priya okay fine now class and object is basically a very easy topic okay but concept is very high so keep practicing it's again very important for our job purpose interview purpose and for the exam now here i have a two class pot person and the child both has a init function init method so what happened basically when i'm creating child object this method execute when i'm creating person object this basically is executed in the person i'm printing age okay i'm printing age now i'm creating a person class name is pile and 38 So basically, pile and thirty-eight. Then I'm calling x dot function. So what happened? X dot function. It's a x person. So definitely, it's printing pile thirty-eight. Okay, both variable name pile and thirty-eight. The next example, I'm creating just object C child. Okay, so this statement executed. Yes, because it is a different class. Now, let's back to the super function. Okay, let's back to the super function. What super function allow super function that will make the child class inherits all methods and property from its parents. So basically, what it's called it's inheritance. Okay, child class. This child class use parent class property and methods. Yes. Okay. So basically, what happened here? when i am creating person pile and 38 same example so my name is pile age is 38 here and when i am printing self name and age printing yes it's happen okay but what happen when i am creating child object when i am creating child object definitely this one executed okay but here i am calling super And with two parameters. So what happened here? This calling parent method, and I'm passing here. That's why two parameter is basically assigned here, and we can change the like that. C one dot int function. So it's printing child parameter value. Agent twenty three. Here I'm doing nothing. Okay, we can see here nothing. I'm doing. I'm just calling parent agent function. Okay, so I'm this super function is for Inherit the parents, inherit the methods and property. Okay, so syntax is basically same. But I'm remove def and use here a super. But functionality is very different. Functionality is very different. Okay, functionality is very different. Now let's move to the next example. Okay, here class person. Function child super actually this is basically the same things okay there is not a much changes but yes is there changes you can see here I am passing value here okay so yes it is possible I am passing the value fetch it here pass it to the my super function okay so basically rather than giving value here value here sorry here I am passing parameter. Okay, and value I'm assigning when I'm creating a object. Now, the next thing is polymorphism. Okay, polymorphism is just to a uh, multiple class with the same method only. Okay, that means uh, I have a two class or three class. In every class, I have a function. I have a method. The name is same. Display, display. In display, and all class is different, but method inside is the name is same. Inside the method name is same. So what I do? You just read this example. So what happened here? We have a three different class, but inside the class the method name is 
see. Okay, so let's see the example first. I have a class named car. Passing the value and assign the property. Okay, assign the value for my color. Okay, the color is a common property in every class. Okay, so whenever I am creating the object, I am passing the particular color. Okay. The same things here. Okay, uh, property is same display and the color. So what happened here? I am creating a C1. C1 is for my car. Passing the blue and I say C1 dot display. So basically, it's called class C1. Okay, and print in car. The output is in car and the color name. The same thing. Object name is, uh, sorry, class name is plan and object name is P1. And I'm calling P1 dot display. So what happened? P1 dot display executing this statement. And for plane, here it is. Fine. So this is called polymorphism. Basically, it's very, very, very simple example. Concept is very deep. Example is very simple for your understanding. We have a different class, but the method name is same. It's called polymorphism. Okay. Now, so this is enough for uh, this video. We will discuss more in detail in our next session. Thank you for watching. See you in the next class.